what is going on guys in last video we have successfully integrated the razor pay payment system where we can pay through the debit card credit card net banking and any other payment options in this video we'll complete the checkout process after adding all the cart items to the orders where we can see the details and status of the orders and also we'll clear the cart items so let's get back to the video so now whenever the payment is success first thing we'll do is from the cart we will create an order so we'll transfer all the data from the cart to the order and then we'll clear the cart so for that what i will do i will create a function in app util so that we can call it from here on payment success so here we have add to cart function remove from cart function now let's create another function that will be clear cart and add to orders let's say this is our method here we require something first thing we require is user model from that we can get the cart and then we will update the user model so same thing we are doing in remove from cart we'll copy this user doc let's paste it here we'll get the reference and then we'll get the user model so here i'll copy this add on complete listener also paste it below we'll get the user doc if it is successful we will get the current card so from the current card we can make the orders object so these are not required we will remove this everything now we have the current card of the current user we can add it to orders so what are the things we can add in orders object so if you go to user model we have name email uid cart items address same way in the product model it has id title description in the same way we'll create another model that will be orders model so we can add that order model in any collection so first thing what we will do we will create a model so let's call it as order because it is independent so it will be a data class order model data class and here we will have some properties so first thing what you can add let's say id which will be a string which will be the order id so initialize with empty variable second thing we require is date so the data type i will give is a timestamp because it is from firebase so we will use the class timestamp from the firebase equals to timestamp dot now third thing we require is user id whoever has ordered the item so it will be string what else we require the items so whatever we have in the cart items we'll add it in order model so what you have in cart item if you go to user model it is map of string and long let's copy this and here we'll paste it it will be items let's say not a cart items and what else we can add we will have order status let's say status string initialize it with empty variable we can have address it will be the address of the user it will be tracked on the order model so it will be also a string also you can capture other things but for now we'll capture only these things in the order model we have id date user id these things we'll push this order model in collection so we have users collection data collection in the same way we'll create orders collection over here and then we'll push all the orders of the all the users to that collection in the user id also we can give empty string now whenever the payment is success we'll call this method and then here after getting the current card we'll create a order object so how we can create the order object we'll create a variable order equals to order model we'll push this order to the firebase so what are the value required if you so see over here we have these things id date user id items status and address so id what will be the id we have to generate the id it should be a random id so what i will do is uuid dot random uuid dot to string i will use this one this will automatically generate the random id for us second thing is user id that will be from firebase or get instance dot current user dot uid this is the current user id whoever is ordering third thing is date timestamp dot now fourth thing is items so what will be the items this will be the current card so we have got the current card from the user model we can use that current card now status let's say status as ordered and the address will be from user model so we have in the users we have cart items we have address also so we can get that address with the result so it dot result dot get address as string so we'll get that now we have the order object ready we'll push it to the firestore so what we will do firebase dot firestore dot collection so what in what collection you want to push you can create a collection over here and then add or directly we can use orders collection so that it will create automatically for the first time and then it will use that so orders dot document document id let's say order id so we need order id over here so we can say order dot id dot set the object will be order so document id will be order id and we will set the object as order and we will add on complete listener so here we can do something if it is successful so whenever we have successfully set this order in the fire store here will clear the cart item so user has already done the payment it has been added to the orders now we have to clear the cart so to clear the cart what we will do we have user doc over here that's why we are utilizing this user doc dot update 
cart items as field value dot delete so it will delete the cart items from the user object then we won't have any cart item over here that means the cart item is cleared it has been added to the cart if it is successful that's it in this way this function will create the order object push it to the firebase and then it will clear the cart items so we'll call this from main activity on payment success so whenever the payment is success what we will do we'll call this app util dot layer cart and add to orders so this should work now let's run and test now let's run and test either it will work correctly or not so we have one item amazon fire tv let's do checkout pay now So I'll use the cards, I'll use the correct card, test card, so date, one, two, three, test, continue, letter, OTP, one, two, three, four, five, six, continue. Now payment is successful, it will redirect, we'll get the message, payment success. So now it should clear the card. So if you go back to the cart, you can see there are no items. That means the cart is cleared. If you check the fire store also, the cart items is cleared. Now it should add the orders. So where is the orders? We have to reload it for the first time. We have the orders collection. As you can see over here, it is created and we have the order ID that is randomly generated. Same ID over here. And we have the order object address is correct date is correct id is there items is there that means same cart items is there with the product id and the number of product the status is ordered and the user id is the user who has ordered the item in this way we have simply added the item if you see the id of the order it is not looking good so what we will do we'll modify the id here whenever we get the id we will not use this long id here what we can do we don't require this hyphen over here first thing Let's do replace hyphen with empty string and then we'll take first 10 digit only and we'll convert it to uppercase. So what it will do, it, it will take the first 10 character and it will convert it to uppercase and I will add before this one prefix that will be ORD underscore then we'll concat it. So whenever the order ID will be generated, it will be ORD ORD underscore and then random uppercase 10 digit. Now let's test this. Let's add some items. So let's add this MacBook and iPhone. Go to cart, check out, pay now, cards, test, payment is successful. Payment success. Now you can see over here in the orders, we have this order. Now the ID is looking good. ORD underscore 10 digit. And we have the same ID over here. So we have the correct data now. Now if you have noticed, whenever the order is done, we are still in the checkout page. This should not happen. So we are showing the toast over here, but not closing this checkout page. And but we should go in the home page. So for that, what we will do instead of toast, we'll show a dialog. Whenever payment is success, we'll show a dialog and OK button. So whenever user will click on OK button, it will redirect to the home. Page. So we will do that. It will be good for UX also. So let's remove this toast. And here we'll create the alert dialog. So on payment success after clearing everything so to create the alert dialog we need builder equals to alert dialog dot builder main activity will pass this now builder dot set title what title we can set payment successful we can add a message that will be thank you your payment your payment was completed successfully and your order has been placed now i'll add a button that will be positive button let's say ok button and here we'll get two things so let's add underscore comma underscore and arrow so on the click of ok button we'll do something so what we will do we'll navigate to home page so for that we'll need navigate nav controller equals to global navigation dot nav controller nav controller dot navigate so where we want to navigate to home also before navigating we want to clear all the navigation because if you click on back again you will go to checkout page that should not happen so for that what we'll do navigate controller dot pop back stack so that it will clear all the back stack and it will just go to home page now we have added the button we'll make cancelable as false so set cancelable will be false and then we'll show it finally so it will show the dialog so whenever the payment is success it will show this dialog and navigate to home let's run and test now let's add some item macbook card check out pay now test card payment is successful you can see payment successful thank you and it is non-cancellable and whenever we click on ok it should go to home page not this checkout page 
we click on ok you can see we have went to home page and in the card there is no item so it is looking good now so our purpose is done whenever we do the payment it will add in orders it will clear the card and then it will show the dialog and we are navigate to home page so the purpose is done one more thing if you go to the card you can see over here we don't have anything but it's still checkout button is visible whenever we click on it the app is crashing because there is no item so whenever there is no item what we can do we can show a message over here you don't have any items we should not show this checkout button otherwise it will crash so what we will do for that we will go to cart page this is the design for cart page your cart is here in lazy column where we have all the items and we have this button so here what we will do if there are no items we will not show this lazy column as well as this button so from here to here we will not show if there are no item so how we can check that here we have in user model so user model dot cart value dot cart items not empty then we'll start a bracket and we'll cut these two items paste it over here if it is not empty then only we will show this now if i run you can see if there is no item it is not visible if you add item checkout button is visible if you delete this it is also not visible so it is looking empty you can write over here one message so for that in the else condition we can write if it is empty let's create a column so you want to add in center so we'll take full size modifier dot fill max size vertical arrangement arrangement dot center horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally and you can add design over here icon you whatever you want to add i will just add a text no items here font size let's say 32 sp let's make it big if i run now see no items here you can add icons as well whatever you want to add over here in the column so if there are no items it will show no items over here if i add the item it will show the item and the checkout button if you remove this no items here so it is looking good now so we have completed a checkout we can add items to the cart we can order it and we can do the payment and the order is placed in the orders so here we can track either it is ordered in next video we'll start making the profile phase where we'll have the user profiles also we can see the orders whatever we have ordered right now if you see these all four orders are done by same user in the profile we will have an orders button where we can see all the orders that is also listed so we'll design this profile so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye